Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are watching this out there on the World Wide Web. This is Jeremy Gillen for Syscon TV. We are here at 10th Cloud Expo, Cloud Expo New York, as is Andrew Hillier, CTO of Cerebra. Thank you, sir, for joining us for the 97th time, is it, in 10 Cloud Expos? It's been a few times, but I think it's better and better every year, so we're happy it to is, come back. It is quite something, isn't it? You see it going on in the background. You guys, however, are one of our favorite success stories, because you seem to have grown and grown with the show. Yeah, well, we have a, we have a, a great show here every year. It's, it's a great audience for us. Uh, you know, we're big in financial services. A lot of the New York market's really good. And of course, it's all about cloud, and that's who we want to be talking to. So it's a very focused audience. We love coming here. We always have a good show. Andrew Zimmerman says it's all about cloud. I got to make it, it's all about cloud. It is all about cloud. Tell us what new things you guys have brought to this show, or, you know, or tracking back, because seven months since we talked last. Yeah, it's been a while. We, uh, we actually released a major rev of our product around the New Year time frame called version 7 and it has this uh, uh, really advanced what we call control console so it's all new we're showing it at the booth you're welcome to come by and see it but basically it's an interactive uh, visualization of a data center it could be virtual cloud-based telling you if you have any inefficiencies or risks and letting you see them graphically on the screen so you can see if you have too much capacity but you have not enough allocated to guests or if you have imbalances across the placement of your workload. So it's actually a very powerful way to visualize the environment. And then it also recommends how to take action to fix it. So we call it a capacity control system. Right. And it's kind of like the evolution of capacity management. It's taking it from a, a discipline where you trend a lot and kind of look at the numbers and kind of ballpark what you're going to need into a very active paradigm of, of controlling these environments, which is absolutely critical for, for cloud infrastructure. Now, how many other people, Andrew, have taken that dashboard approach and are trying to steal your lunch, or is it unique at the moment? Well, I think it's still unique at the moment. We always see people kind of you know, uh, catching up with us at certain points, but it is, it is relatively unique. And you know, you call it single pane of glass, that, that phrase has been around a long time, it's a bit cliche, so we don't really call it that, but what it is, we're finding that the visualization is actually very important because when you move into cloud infrastructure, and let's say for example you have a, a cabinet full of gear that you're moving everything into, you're taking a lot of physical complexity and turning it into virtual complexity. So it looks very clean and tidy physically, it's a black box, literally, but what's happening inside it is, is absolutely rocket science. And so you lose track of what's going on, so we give you a visualization of what's inside there, um, and it's really like a you know, windshield wiper wiping your window, all of a sudden you know what's happening inside the infrastructure. So, because what you've done is just taken complexity and shifted it. You know, now you don't have wires running everywhere, yeah. but now you have VMs all over the place and cloud instances and you need to manage you know, different customers. So, so how do you make sense of it? So we're finding the visualization is actually uh, a big part of the, you know, of, of the value that our customers are seeing. And then of course the ability to act on that, those answers from the analytics is you know, the logical next step. And tell us a little bit about the company, uh, Andrew, if people don't know it. Like, what made you zero in on that problem set? Well, so, so um, we, we make predictive analytics software, uh, very deep analytics that effectively let you transform and control the environment. So if you're moving things into virtual or cloud environments or data center consolidation, you know, we have uh, a lot of strength in that area. And then pointing at running infrastructure and, and what we call control or, or managing that infrastructure is the other side of the use case. Now we've we've you know we've kind of evolved with the market and with our customers. We see a lot of uh, internal virtual environments, of course, being built years ago, and now more internal clouds being built, and maybe some external cloud. And it depends on the type of customer. Um, so we've really been going in lockstep with those requirements, and that's you know how we got to where we are today. So so for example, last year, uh, probably just after the show, we announced our cloud migration factory, which lets you move things into the cloud very, very you know, quickly and safely, uh, which is a very important part of the chain. And then this control console now is the receiving side of that. So we now have an end-to-end -end story saying, if you want to build a cloud, uh, we help you onboard and figure out how to onboard and what can't go and what can. And then from the back-end perspective, we help you receive all that work. You know, we do bookings, almost like a hotel reservation system. Yeah. We let you book up the cloud and manage it to a high degree of efficiency. So, so we've taken it end to end, which is exactly where you know, our major customers are going with this. So we're you know, basically working in lockstep with the market. And talking about those customers, I mean, we've said the financial vertical. What would be the, the next most logical verticals to come and use the solution? Well, the nice thing is we don't really have any verticalization of our product. It, it, it's the same product in, in every, so logistics or healthcare, they all use the same product, and we have customers across all of those. Um, it's just in the policy. So we have a very deep policy modeling system 
that says for that environment I need high availability, I don't overcommit resources beyond this amount. So we see variation in the policies, especially for things like PCI and Sarbanes-Oxley, from vertical to vertical, but it's the same analytics requirement. So we, we focus a lot on financial services. We have a lot of strength in the, in the big banks, uh, insurance companies, uh, telcos, we have major telcos right. using the product. So we see um, pretty much across the board, you know, there, there's applicability everywhere, but we tend to focus these days more on you know, financial services, people in New York, London. Um, that's just currently what we, we're talking about, because the, the big banks are, are very complex environments, and, they, and they're a lot of times early adopters of cloud. So it's a, a you know, kind of very good uh, scenario for us. I imagine there's a bank not yet using it, and they need to reach out to you. Where should we send them? Well, if you go to our website, there's a, there's a lot of resources on this. So there's uh, recordings uh, explaining this control console. There are online demos. You can request a demonstration. Uh, we do regular webcasts. So there's, there's a lot of resources. Also white papers, some very detailed white papers. Uh, again, the most recent one is on this uh, reservation system for IT, which we find is a very powerful concept. Yeah. If you think about it, every other about, about it, I'm talking in Canadian now. If you think about it, the, uh, uh, every other industry that has shared resources has a reservation system. So airlines, hotels, rental cars, right. even but restaurants, not IT. but not IT, there is none. So why is that? Well, if you're using physical environments, they're like houses and you don't need a, uh, you don't need a reservation system for your house or for apartment buildings for that matter, but clouds are like hotels yeah, yeah. and you care about what's coming and going. And we're finding that's becoming a big trend now is, is, is I want to be able to book future capacity. I'm deploying some new SAP modules in two weeks. Can I reserve capacity for it? And so we're seeing a lot of need for that type of thing. And so the reason I bring this up is there's actually a, a new white paper on that topic as well. And we're finding there's a lot of interest around that because it's something new to IT that no, hasn't sounds, existed. Sounds brilliant. Go to Sable.com, find that, click.